Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm going to test and run the bootable Windows 10 on an iPhone or iPad using UTM SC emulator. You can simply use the link in the description or you can get UTM SC available on the App Store. All right, now open UTM SC emulator. Click on add icon, add new machine. Select CD DVD image, then click on browse. Choose the downloaded Windows 10 image file. Click on continue. Select architecture to x86, 64. Set memory to 1 to 1.5 gigs of RAM. Set CPU cores to 2. Set storage space to at least 10 gigs. Continue. Again, continue. Now save. Now go to machine settings. Information. Set machine name to Windows 10. It's optional. Select style to operating system. Select icon. Now go to Kemu settings. Disable UEFI boot. All right, so display settings are same as usual. Set input controller to USB 3. It's already set to default. Now save the settings. All right, now boot the machine. The entire process is same as recent videos I did on iPad based on Windows 7, 8 versions. It takes a bit more time, depending on the speed of the device. Like if you are using old iPhone X or older device, the installation process takes a lot more time and they even work slow. Don't panic here, select OK. Here, as you can see, so this is our assigned storage space. So select next. It starts to install. Here, I'll fast forward this video, have a look. And finally, there we go. We successfully booted Windows 10 on an iPhone after a long time. Like it took me almost like one hour on an A14 chip. Here you can see the processor displayed as Kimu Virtual CPU at lower clock and 1.5 gigs of RAM. It's actually pretty slow without a JIT compilation. Well, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked. Also subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.